Guy, noun, man or fellow. When used in plural, it may refer to a group of people regardless of sex. History and Etymology Remember, remember the 5th of November, the gunpowder, treason, and plot. I know of no reason why the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. That was V, from V for Vendetta, quoting a portion of a rhyme that commemorates the arrest of Guido Fox, the namesake of the mask he wears. The poem describes the events of November 5th, 1605, when Guido, usually referred to as Guy Fox, was captured and arrested while actively attempting to assassinate King James I and destroy Parliament. Guy Fox was a member of a group of provincial English Catholics whose goal was to assassinate King James and install a Catholic monarch in England. Now you see, relations between Protestants and Catholics at this time, well, to say they weren't great would be an understatement. Catholics were being persecuted when James, King of Scotland, became King of England after the union of the Scottish and English crowns, there were hopes that he, being a moderate towards the Catholic Church, would put the kibosh on this persecution of Catholics. And when there was no signs of this happening, Guy Fawkes and his companions took it upon themselves to do something about it. Guy Fawkes and his companions, led by Robert Catsby, attempted to execute their plot on November 5th, 1605, collecting wood and gunpowder beneath the House of Lords. That night, Guy Fox was assigned to guard the explosives hidden beneath the building. That's where he was caught and arrested. Now, every November 5th, the people of Great Britain go out and light bonfires, shoot fireworks, and burn effigies of Guy Fox to celebrate. Over the years, the effigies of Guy Fox have been grotesque and ugly. And the Oxford English Dictionary cites these effigies as the original definition of the word guy used as a general noun. Guy eventually became an insult, referring to people with a grotesque appearance in about 1836. You would refer to somebody say, look at that guy over there, and it meant they were ugly, like the Guy Fox effigies. At this point, the word was gender neutral and could be used to refer to anyone in an insulting manner. Men are generally more willing to make fun of their own appearance and started using the word guy in a self-deprecating fashion to refer to themselves and other men. When these men have children of their own and those children hear the word guy being used to refer to men and groups of people and they don't witness any insult being taken by the word, they learn that that word just is used to refer to men or groups of people and it eventually loses all sense of insult that corresponds to that word. The word guy is a great example of how children are the people that really control the way language changes over time. They hear a word used, they don't know the history behind it, they don't know that the adults around them are just trying to be silly when they call someone a guy, they just hear the adults around them use the word to refer to people, and that's eventually what the word means because they didn't know the history, they don't know the adults around them were using the word to insult each other, and this process is still happening today with children around the world in every language. Prescription. The biggest controversy about the word guy or guys is it's used in its plural form to refer to groups of people containing both men and women. From time to time I'll hear someone say that guy is a gendered term, and should be avoided when referring to groups of men and women. I can kind of understand this sentiment, seeing how the word is generally used to refer to men when it's used in its singular form. And I really don't mind if people choose to avoid using the word guys only when referring to a group of men, because that's just kind of a personal choice thing. But when considering the word's history and usage, there's really no reason for the plural usage referring to both men and women to be forbidden. If you really wanted to restrict the usage of the word guys, your best bet would be to ban it completely due to its history as an insult. But since that sense of the word is so obsolete, it's almost been completely forgotten. 
That would really make no sense to anyone. And remember when I mentioned children earlier? Well, this is a really good example of how the spontaneously ordered nature of human language that grows and changes through children will resolve this issue for us. If enough children grow up with parents that choose to avoid using the word guys in a gender-neutral sense to refer to groups, they'll stop using it, and the future of English will no longer use the word that way. But if enough people keep using the word to refer to mixed groups of people, the word guys will maintain its current meaning and definition. So, in the end, the way language changes is really all up to the children. Well guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. If you didn't, let me know what I got wrong down in the comments below. If you're a lexophile like me, please subscribe to the channel, and please consider checking out some of my other definitions here. And if you're a fellow YouTuber and you're interested in doing a collaboration, if you have any words you think are being misused or misunderstood, send me a message. I'd love to work with you on defining and explaining what those words mean. Till next time, thank you.